Hey guys, Luke here. First off, I'm going to start off by saying 100 subscribers. Yes! Doesn't feel like a lot. It doesn't seem like a lot, but it feels like a lot. Definitely over the moon with that one. Second of all, I'm going to say I'm sounding bunged up and stuff because I don't know what it is. I can't actually stop sneezing today and breathing is just screwing up. And I'm pretty tired. I've only just woken up and it. It, well, actually, I actually haven't just woken up with a lie. I woke up about half an hour ago, and this it would have been about four o'clock half an hour ago. So I've had quite a nice lying, but my neck is killing me. But on with the video, I'm going to show you a tutorial because that's what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to keep my videos coming for you B subscribers out there. And basically, this is how to do your sun and your like moon effect. First off, you can need to use After Effects, and secondly, it depends what After Effects you have, it depends on the plugin. Basically, if you've got After Effects 4, download and install No Light Factory, you just Google it or YouTube it, you'll find it. And if you're like me and have After Effects CS5, then you can want to use Video Copilot's Optical Flares. Personally, I like Optical Flares better because it gives you that extra bit of customization, but no Light Factory is also brilliant, but come on, Video Copilot, it is good. Right, start off by doing your standard stuff, import your file, around the tank shot, drag it in, get rid of the bars at the top and the sides. Oh, yeah, my new mic came, so I'm hoping this is sounding good. I did actually just record all of this, but without the screen recording, so that was a fail and a half. But, there you go, tell me what that's like. Here we go. So, you've got your nice simple clip here, it's just looking pretty plain, so let's liven it up. First off, go to Layer, New, Adjustment Layer. Get your Adjustment Layer, go to Effect. Um, where am I? Where am I? Color Correction. Then go to Curves. I'm going to drag, see this line here, if we go to about halfway, click and drag it up, see this line, we go about halfway, click and drag this line down, so it darkens it up a bit, but also brightens it up on those brighter spots. And then you want to go to layer, new, solid, whatever colour you want. I thought I was going to sneeze, am I going to sneeze? get some tissue ready just in case but yeah from here it doesn't really matter what colour it is because your plugin will change it for you you'll go to the layer no nope, effect sorry and then here's where you're going to choose either no light factory or your video copilot I'm using optical flares so there you go straight away it changes it to an optical flare and then on the render mode you want to change it to on transparent there you want to position your moon, I'm going to have it top right like I normally do. Now I'm going to go to options. This will also be on No Light Factory, you have the options up here. You have to select what you want, but this is just a lot more, looks a lot more professional. What I do is I delete everything. I delete everything straight away and then just add glow three times so it just makes it a nice circle. Then here's where you can play around with it, you can add in all your stuff. But I just leave it standard because it's a moon and a moon doesn't really have anything coming off of it. Unless the effect you're looking for isn't like that. Add in the stuff you want. Hit OK. And there you go. But I turn the scale down to say, let me change it to about 25. And then I normally tend to up, up the brightness to say 150. There you go, you've got a nice little moon going on there. And you want to have it where it's not behind anything, so you don't want to have it in front of a tree. Up there is a nice good spot, because it's not actually behind anything. I'm going to have it half off the screen. But it's not really looking night time, is it? So you go to your adjustment layer. Then go to effect, colour correction, CC toner. Leave the top one white. Leave the bottom one black. And then middle. I'm going to change it to a purpley blue colour. Is anyone going to the Cambridge Folk Festival, by the way? 
because I am hitting that up. There you go, that kind of looks night, so it's a purpley blue colour. Kind of looks dark and nighty. Yeah, you could turn your curves off, but it would just sort of blur it a bit, but that just gets rid of it and makes it look that, that extra bit better. Right. This is where you want to go to your, your solid, your um, optical flare thing, and you want to click on the optical flares and move it around, and you'll see on the left it's the position the X and Y, so keyframe that, and then go along, and this is where it gets a bit tricky, and you got to move it in and out, and this is where it doesn't look too good, but you try to make it look as good as possible. So. So in theory you're trying to make make out as if the moon is not moving. What you could do is you could motion track it and all that, but it's so much simpler to do this. So here we go, it's about here the guy's gonna start to jump, so I'm gonna move it up and down just a bit like that. And as he jumps, naturally I'm gonna move it off screen. <coughs> Sorry. And then, as he scopes in, he's. We'll do the opacity in a minute. There's no point doing it now. So, we'll just get rid of this. Sorted. Now he's going to start to fall, isn't he? So, naturally. As he starts to fall, put it over to about there. Don't mind, is it? I just moved it the complete wrong way. Oh, fine. Bad. Yep, yeah, pretty much I've screwed this up so I moved it the wrong way. But, I'm lazy and I can't bother to change it. There we go, and then he's going to stop there. So now let's just go and do the opacity. So you're going to hit your thing, hit opacity, keyframe it at the start, go forward. Oh, to that so keep going. Oh, there you go. That's where it shouldn't be visible. Keyframe it 100. Next keyframe, change it down to zero. Keep going along until it comes out the scope. She's about there. Keyframe it. Next keyframe. Guess what? You whack it up to 100 again. And then you keep going. And then I'll go away. If you keep going, say if the uh, the moon goes behind something, or it's technically in front of it, but it looks as if it's behind it, you want to keyframe it, and then make the opacity a bit darker. And then uh, you just want to get the timing right, and that's it. That's all it is. And then go to composition, add to render queue, output, change it to your quick times, otherwise it's too big. She said. Change it to moon, whatever, whatever you want. Then just hit render. And let it render out. Pretty much that is all it is, that's all it takes. Obviously you can change it to a sun by making it brighter. I've screwed the moon up so much there, so just ignore this one. This one's been pretty fail. Um Yep, you can change them like the colour of it to orangey, and then add in your solar flares and all that sort of magical stuff. And uh, yeah, pretty much that is it. That is the tutorial. Be sure to like and subscribe. What am I downloading? I don't know. But yeah, be sure to like and subscribe, and a lot more coming your way.